Okay, guys. So today's video, we we're going to add power line from from here to attic. And your project might be not necessary to attic. Maybe you want to add a new outlet in the hallway, or whatever your project might be. Um, I am doing my project for here because I am adding a whole house plan on this particular house. So we need a power up there and up in the attic for it. And so in order to find the live wire or something, uh, the first method I'm going to do is uh, uh, when I looked at the fuse box outside, there was a swamp cooler wire for it. So I'm hoping I can tap into swamp cooler wire and then try to find the live wire from there. And so, but when I go up the attic, and see the swamp cooler wire and uh, when I pulled it there's nothing connected so that means power is not there so I am using this right here okay to define a live wire voltage tester for it so I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on and then if this method does not work then I will use the adding a new wire from the fuse box and uh, trying to do that route but I try not to do that way but let me try to do this way first. So I turned it on, and right now, this thing indicates right here with the signal. You gotta get, come closer, okay? And so right now, it's set for steady mode, and then when you're close to the hot side, it will give me red, red right here. So this would be the hot, and this would be the new, neutral, it should be. Okay, well, doesn't matter so anyways if I go below here it doesn't tell me any live wire here but if you go around, around here nothing but I do see like a little old cutout of where the swamp cooler switch used to be at so I'm assuming it's around here so and then go across there's something right behind it so I'm thinking Swamp cooler wires right here, and I'm thinking from here is just a, a wire from the attic coming down for this hallway switch right here. That's what I'm thinking. And so hopefully that is correct. So let's go up there and see. And I'm gonna go ahead and drill the hole, and I'm using the, the scope camera to scope down and see what's inside of this wall. All right, welcome to my office up in the attic here. And so, uh, here I am wearing uh, safety glasses and a mask on and up here up in the attic. And so at first I am using this uh, dust pan to uh, get rid of the, um, the insulation stuff right here and scoop it out to I'm trying to find a, uh, a wire for it. Here is the wire for the swarm cooler. And this one has like a three way of wires right here. But when I pull it, it's nothing is connected. And it shows me there's no power uh, whatsoever. And, uh, and here's a little reader right here and uh, setting up and see right now this wire is dead. And this one has a wire uh, power right here on this one, but this one has uh, nothing at all. So swamp cooler wire is about right here and so I'm going to uh, dig the dis insulation out of there. And uh, let's see. Good thing I have a mask on because it is very dusty. And uh, yeah, if you have an allergy or whatever, not a good place to be. All right, let me bring the camera a bit closer. Okay. Okay, so I brought a camera over here. And this is what I am dealing with. So here is the swamp cooler wire. I'm hoping I can be able to tap the wire here and uh, and see if I can make it work. If not, I may just have to use uh, uh, a one for the um, fuse box to go up there and try to uh, bring it up here and then bring the new power up here is my second plan. What I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, uh, make a, a new hole right here. And then I have the uh, scope camera and I'm gonna shoot it down and see what's down there. And I will do the recording for you guys for the finding of what's down there. I am going to uh, shove uh, this uh, scope camera 
This time I'm going to use uh, um, the strong curl wire. There's a hole, it's big enough, but I'm not sure what's below down there and how it's connected. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, using the same hole and try to go down. I see it and I follow the same path. Not been, it's been capped off. So, yeah, so it looks like it's been capped off. So, now I need to see there's a, another connection right below. And uh, right here uh, is the, um, if you probably saw it on the camera, there was a disconnect wire from here and here right here. And it's about three feet below. And uh, I'm hoping to, the, the bottom part right here, it'd be a live wire, and that's the live wire, then hoping it's, we can go ahead and connect this, and that will solve the problem for adding a new wire to the opted attic. And if that doesn't work, the number two steps would be going up to the tackling from the fuse box on the outside, which is about 600 volt, which I'm not very comfortable to dealing with. It's kind of scary, but we need to uh, do it because I know how to do it. So, so the scary thing is not a big problem for me. Anyways, go ahead. Let's go ahead and, and uh, try to make a hole and to see if we can somehow get the, the right. So at first, I'm going to use a smaller uh, drill hole because uh, there's so much of uh, uh, live wires in here. I don't know where the where the exactly the wire it is, but I don't want to use a bigger hole to damage any wires and, and it eventually will you know shock me and things like that. So I'm just going to use a smaller hole and I hope I can miss the wire. And then from there, I can kind of look at the scope again and see what's the surrounding area and what I have to deal with and kind of go from there. And let's go slow. I'm just going in really slow and, and uh, take it out. Okay, I'm in. Great. See how much of a... Uh, she rock dust I collected. No mess. I think the feather tape will help so much, but I didn't bring a fat one. Okay, see, it's all right here. Garbage time. All right, so I do have a scope camera right here. So you can see the wire right there. And uh, there's, there's a cap one right there. Okay. So I'm going to make a bigger hole here and somehow I can be able to yank both the two wires out. And I still have to be careful because the live wire is back there. Alright guys, with the success using the, um, the scope and things like that, I was able to find a wire inside from here. So I am so stoked on this. So this one is live wire and this one is obviously not. And I went to the fuse box to make sure this is what this is. And this is definitely the uh, live wire for it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tie these two together, this together, this together, and make a good connection out of it. And then this will goes up to the attic where I'm going to use this one for a whole house fan is for installing it. So what I've done has there's incoming power and this the power right here goes up to the attic. So basically I want the continuation of the power from he here to go out there. And so I basically I connected all the black one to black one, the white one to white one, and all the ground to ground. And I kept it off the red one here. So for safety wise, I'm just going to use an electrical tape and do this and just going to wrap around like this. So give it a good protection from getting contact. All right, great. Woohoo! All right, let's go to upstairs and then make a new plug for it, and then we're gonna be done for it. Okay, guys, I am going to uh, add a power. I can probably put the plug right here, and in this area right here, and put the uh, plug cover or the bracket. In here right here okay that's great use this to puncture the hole the existing wire put right here to the back of it
and I'm going to go ahead and strip this uh, uh, this part here. And strip it right, right here for the black one and the white one. Okay, so uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, connect uh, the wire, and uh, we're going to bend the uh, the white one to the fish hook like this, like so, and then we can go ahead and put the let's see this white. So silver is white and brass is hot. So let's go ahead and put silver one first in the white one. Okay, and then let's go ahead and uh, put this thing right on here. Let's start screwing it. Okay, great. And let's work on the black one and do the same thing and do a little uh, a fish hook right here like so. Let's put this one right here for the plug and then let's go ahead and uh, pinch it off a little bit all right and then let's go ahead and screw that one in okay let's put the ground on here let's do uh, some fish hook again Put this part in. All right. It looks really great. So it looks like everything's been wired in. And then I'm just gonna tuck in this one, like here, like so, like here, and then shove it in. I'm adding a plug to the opening in the attic. It's all done. I cannot believe how well you turned out. There is a power in there right now, and uh, this plug is ready to go for a uh, uh, whole house fan. And if you guys are interested in watching the whole house fan, click to the other videos I have for how to install a whole house fan. But I really love that. It's, uh, it helps uh, uh, save energy and keeps the whole house cool and very, very comfortable. So look at that. It's just not a success. Thanks for watching my video, and uh, see you next time. Thanks. Bye.